today I'm super excited because ever since I started doing cooking videos, I've been wanting to cook with another person other than my four-year-old daughter climbing all over. So I have my first guest slash victim today, my dad, Jim. Hi, dad. <laughs> okay, so today we are making one of my dad's favorite recipes that he likes to bake, which is? Apple cake. Apple cake. So I'm not a huge fan of apple pie. I know you love apple pie. You are you love all apple. I love apples, yeah. Okay. That's yeah. good for Michigan. Everybody this, this is easy, though. <laughs> Perfect. So that's why we wanted to do this. So for the people that don't love apple pie or just as an alternative for an apple pie, this is good. Different recipe. Um, this recipe we got from a high school friend of yours, grandmother. So this yes. is an old one. And you will tell by the ratios of fat and sugar in this recipe. You can always tell old recipes. I always say that like Animal Pulse Pound Cake because it has a lot of butter and a lot of sugar. Whereas now recipes are like a half a cup of sugar. We're not doing that today. It's no. all, we're making cake. Let's go for it. So dad's going to talk us through this and we're gonna make this cake together. Sounds good. Go ahead. I'm yes. excited. Me too. Okay, let's start out with one and three quarter cups of sugar. See what I said? <laughs> <laughs> then yep. we get a cup of oil. Cup of oil. Okay. Luckily, I had oil in my pantry and I poured it in here to pre measure it, and I had exactly one cup of oil. Oh, wow. Exactly what I had. I was like, whoo. It was meant to be. <laughs> this is what I got in the house. This is the last of it right here. That's all right. I, I checked last night and they haven't. I had to go to the store last night to get some. Just for you guys, he did this. Well, just for me, but also for you guys. <laughs> all right. Oil and sugar together. In. Right. So mix this. Yes? Yep. Mix this. I like using a fork. To mix it up, but oh, okay. If there's any lumps in the sugar, it'll help break up the. Yeah, break it up. Okay. So there's your first tip. You can use a fork to mix this first part. All right. We're looking good, and you just want to basically combine it, right? You don't just to break up all the chunks and make sure it's all saturated. Yeah. Yes. All right. I'm looking good. I think I'm good. Okay. Now, three eggs. Three eggs. Three eggs. In with the oil and the sugar. Got it. Which we have already beaten. You want to beat these eggs till they're fluffy. And my dad just told me if you see bubbles, you're good. That's his trick. So we got the bubbles. Yeah. We're going in with the eggs. Dad, how many times would you say you've made this recipe? Oh, geez. Um, 30 or 40, easy. I mean, a bajillion times. Yeah. yeah. It's a great recipe when you go somewhere. You're going somewhere, it's simple. Yeah. And I like to make it the night before. Yeah. Because it's really good out of the oven, but it seems to get moister the next day. Okay. Yeah. So this is good to bring because then you can make it and then put it, where do you stick it? You put it in the fridge? Was that where you store it? The fridge? No, I just, I, when it cools, I just put, put the lid on the, the cake pan and leave it on the counter. Don't even need fridge space. This is a good cake. Okay. All right. So sugar, oil, eggs. Good. I'm mixed. I think. Next. And then we have two cups of sifted flour. I sifted my flour too. A quarter teaspoon of salt. Yep. A teaspoon of baking soda. Yep. And a teaspoon of salt, or of, I'm sorry, of cinnamon. Cinnamon. Do you do a teaspoon? You said you like to do a little extra, or you do like? Yeah, I do. I do extra. I do extra cinnamon. I, I like extra cinnamon, and I do extra apples too. <laughs> See, he loves apples. Cinnamon at your discretion, around a teaspoon-ish. Yeah. Okay. I did like a teaspoon and a half, probably. 
All right, so just dump that right in and mix it together. Yep, dump it in there. I love this. You can dump it in a little bit at a time and mix oh. it, or you can dump it in a little bit. It doesn't matter. <laughs> It's probably good to put half and then mix them in the other half. Like I dump the whole thing. It's okay. I shall fold together. I'll do it. I was nervous that this bowl that I selected was not going to be big enough, but it's a good size. I'm okay. I think I'm safe. Yeah. It'll take a couple minutes to mix it all up so you just see batter and that flour floating around. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay. Arm workout for the day. But this is also good too that you can just mix it because sometimes you need like a sand mixer to make stuff and not everybody has one of those. So this is good. You just dump everything in the bowl. You're good to go. Good to go. I love it. There we go. So it is just, just like that. Mine's looking like yours. Look. All right. We must be doing something right, sweetie. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right. Now you're going to look at it and go, that's all the batter there is? Trust is me, it's all you need. Okay. <laughs> Don't be scared. Now, the last two ingredients are, you take four large Granny Smith apples, peel them, slice them up thin, and, and dump them in there. Wow. Don't be impressed. I use a mandolin. I didn't, I'm not able to slice this thin on my own. Right. And <laughs> slice them thin, thick. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. I like them. Thin, I already like them. Yeah. You dump those in there. Okay. Ooh, baby. This is like 50 50 ratio batter to. Oh, yeah. Cake. It's like. You're going to go, this ain't going to work. It will. Yeah. Get it started, get it because you still have to add a half a cup of chopped walnuts. Okay, and you're gonna. And obviously, if you have a nut allergy, you can leave the walnuts out, but yeah. walnuts are gonna give it good crunch, probably. Because this is gonna be is this cake when it's done, is this like a light, fluffy cake, or is this is more like a dense cake? More of a dense cake, okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah, so it looks something like that with the oil. Yep. That's looking good. And okay. You're gonna mix it up some more because you're gonna dump your half a okay. cup of chopped walnuts. walnuts. You can use pecans if you like pecans, but it tastes great with the walnuts. Okay. Ooh, baby, this is smelling good. This is like cinnamon's like the classic fall smell. <laughs> the other thing too is make sure you have a, a greased and floured cake pan to put it in. We don't want that cake sticking. Okay. So just once everything is combined, then you're good to go. Yeah, just gonna combine it because. Okay. This looks delicious. Until it's done. It's even better. Oh my God. I definitely had this cake when you made it. I don't really know that I've ever made, well, I don't think I have made this cake on my own because I had asked you to send me the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently I had that. All right, you got it all mixed together? Yeah, my greased and floured. Yeah, I'm not just taking flat it in there and move it all around. It's not gonna not gonna go on its own. You gotta move it yourself. Yeah. Yeah, this is thick. Yeah. I like it. Getting my arm workout today also. <laughs> it, it will. Especially <laughs> peeling the apples. <laughs> I know my hands I was like, oh man, this is my hands are cramping. I have an apple peeler, but I didn't use it because I used small apples today. Because why? Tell everyone why. <laughs> Tell everyone why. 
Tell everyone why you decided, you said, I'm just gonna peel in my hand and not use my peeler because they were small. And he said, yeah. they're the small peeler, and the yeah. took off a 16th of between inch. taking the core out and the skin off, there wouldn't have been anything left. <laughs> he knows, he's made this recipe plenty of times. He was like, no, no, I need a bigger apple. All right, so I'm spreading it out nice and even. Yeah, spread it out, push it in the corners. Yep. And then when you look at it, you're gonna go, there isn't enough batter to make a cake. <laughs> there is. He would not steer you wrong, people. He knows dessert. Right. All right. Now, I, I usually take some foil and tent around the outsides of the pan okay. just, just to keep the edges from burning. Okay. But you don't have to, but I put them on there for about 30 minutes because you're going to bake it for about an hour, an hour, and 10 minutes in your oven at 350 degrees. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to put it in for an hour and then check it, see if it yeah. needs to okay. It'll look like that. Yeah. There you go. Ta -da. Um, Woo, we did it. Okay, so one hour, check it, 350. And then we're gonna let this cook and we're gonna come back and we get to taste it. All right. Okay. I'll see you in an hour, I'll see you in an hour Cindy. <laughs> Ta-da. So Dad did his in a traditional cake pan. I was a weirdo and I did mine in a glass pan, but they both turned out okay, they're both good. So right. the edges are a little bit crispy, like he said. You put a foil around yours, right? Just so that they do. Yes, I put foil all the way around mine. Just on the edges, just and in about 30 to 40 minutes, I took it off after about 40 minutes. Okay, so that keeps it from getting too crispy, I guess. All right, so I wanted to try them. Mine baked for about like 55 minutes. I checked it at 55 minutes and it was done. Yeah, it was, it was the old toothpick test, you know. I did, I did, I did. Was yours like a full hour or? Um, yeah, I, I left it in for a full hour. I could have maybe taken it out a little earlier, but. Yeah, it, it just depends on your oven, I think. Yeah. Okay. I want to cut like a huge piece of this, but I'll cut it. Like yeah, cut into this bad boy. <laughs> Woo, it's fluffy. Uh huh? It looks like it's really soft and fluffy. I didn't expect it to be. This it soft. is. Look at that. Woo, baby. That looks good. All those, oh, you, this is a beautiful cake. Look, you see all those apples and walnuts in there. Yeah. Hold on. Ooh, yeah. See, there was enough batter. There was enough batter. You didn't steer us wrong. You were right. Okay. Moment of truth. Look at that. Like, spongy. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. Delicious. So good. <laughs> I had to take two bites. It's so good. I have to take another bite as well, I think. Yeah. Just to make sure. And it's yeah. good with ice cream. Mm. It's good with Cool Whip on it if you want, but it's delicious just the way it is. You don't really have to do anything else, but whatever you want to do yeah. works fine. It's good with another side piece of cake alongside of it. Cake and more cake. I have a dog here that's waiting to try. <laughs> what was that? I have one of the dogs here. Oh. Waiting to try. <laughs> They're looking for crumbs. I want you to drop some. Exactly. She's sitting here waiting. She's ready. Well, thank you for baking with me today. Thank you for, thank you. I, I loved it. Only thing it would have been better if we'd have been in the same kitchen cooking. I know. Well, we'll have to do another one. Okay. We already have an idea. Yes, we do. Wait for next time. It's a secret, so we're not going to tell okay. anyone. Yeah. We're going to have to watch and be surprised, but then maybe next time we can be in the same kitchen while we bake. That'd be great. All right. All right, sweetheart. Next time, try this. Okay. Enjoy your cake, Dad. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Love you. Love you too. Bye-bye.